Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel, my name's Jared. Today we're going to be working on my V35 Skyline or G35 Infinity if you're in America and I've got a throttle body upgrade to install on it to hopefully make some more power. What I've got here is a NWP throttle body kit for a VQ35 DE engine. So I bought this kit secondhand on Marketplace so that's why it looks a little bit dirty at the moment. But what it comes with is this 75mm throttle body. It's an electric throttle body, the same as your factory one. This one I believe is from a Nissan Maxima. So the factory throttle body is 70mm and this one's 75 so it's just slightly larger. It comes with this adapter harness. So it converts the plug on the upgraded throttle body to the original harness on the car. It comes with this adapter plate. So it's got some offset holes on it to adapt the larger throttle body to the standard intake manifold. And then of course it comes with the bolts and the hardware to install it. So essentially the larger throttle body is gonna allow more airflow into the engine and more air getting into the engine is gonna hopefully result in the engine making more power. I would also recommend coupled with this upgraded throttle body that you also upgrade the intake and go to three inches as well. So the intake piping matches the throttle body. If you haven't done a plenum spacer, I would recommend you do the plenum spacer at this same time as well, because it's better if you take the plenum off, port the inlet out up to three inches, and install it as well because that's going to give you the most performance. As you can see on my car I've already got the Mace engineering plenum spacer. Because I've already got that installed I don't want to take the plenum back off to port it out and install it so I'm just going to put it straight on. It still says you're going to get anywhere between 5 to 15 horsepower. I imagine you're going to be more of the 15 horsepower if you're porting the plenum out and you also get a dyno tune. It is recommended that you get a tune after installing this but NWP's website say it's plug and play and you hopefully shouldn't even have to recalibrate the pedal as well. So if your car is factory you're going to start by taking the air box out. I've got this custom one which I've made so I'm just going to start by taking my air box off and removing the intake pipe and in my case the strut tower and the engine cover to get to the throttle body. The factory one's mounted there to remove that. Now at this point before we start removing the throttle body, I'm just going to disconnect the battery just to make sure playing with the throttle body we don't adjust anything on the throttle TPS sensor calibration. So, so I'm just going to take the negative terminal off the battery from this step forward before we remove the throttle body.
So with the new throttle body, I had to actually go buy a new coupler because the new throttle body has an outer diameter of just under three and a half inches and my piping kit is three inches. The old throttle body was three inches and this one's three and a half. So you'll need a three and a half to three inch or whatever size intake you have. Everything's now installed, so I'm just going to go for the first startup and see how it behaves with the new throttle body. It's idling pretty much where it always idles at cold start. And there's no check engine light, which is good. So just let it warm up for a bit and see how it behaves after it's a bit warm. All right, the car's warmed up a bit now, as you can see. So I'm just gonna do a few revs just to check how it goes. Throttle controller's turned off. Catches idle fine. There's a slight hesitation, but like it's not stalling out or anything. All right, so this is my first impression. Haven't driven the car yet. I've got the throttle controller turned off, so it's not affecting anything at the moment. It is a bit warm. It's 26 outside at the moment. I've got the aircon off just so that doesn't affect anything, but we'll do a few low speed driving and just see how the throttle feels and then we'll do some pulls at the end. Taking off feels fine. There might be like a little less throttle needed than before. Acceleration feels fine. It's not jerky. It's not too sensitive. I probably wouldn't be able to notice a difference so far. Coming to a stop, see how it catches idle. It's fine, it's perfect. Idling at 850 RPM. Do like a little pull here. Alright. First initial impression with the pull. There seems to be like a bit more torque or horsepower, like between four and five thousand RPM. Like before it started to drop off a bit. It feels like it's a bit like it's not struggling at that RPM. Drives like normal, just cruising around like I can't notice any difference. Do another acceleration here in second gear. notice up top there's a difference the engine feels happier like before there was this massive like torque dip and normally I would change gear at 5,000 rpm because there wasn't much after but now you can go to six I didn't go to redline but even at six the engine still feels happy Do one final pull actually a huge difference like this feels how the car should have felt from factory 
and like I didn't have to do a throttle relearn or anything just whack on this slightly larger throttle body and now the torque feels like way better up top and the drivability is the same like I don't know why Nissan didn't do this from from factory After I got out the car, I could hear some squeaky noise and I think it's actually the top of that throttle body touching the bonnet. You see there, there's a small mark right above where the throttle body is. And you can see the person who installed it before also had the same rub marks. All right, that wraps up another video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was super simple, super quick. Probably would have been even quicker if I knew I needed to get that new silicon coupling. But pretty much install, you could have had it off and on in 30, 45 minutes. And actually the gains are just immediately noticeable, even without a tune. How much more torque or horsepower is being produced at that five or 6,000 RPM range. Like the engine feels more linear now. It's not choking out up top. Highly recommend this to anyone. If you're on a budget, you can buy the adapter plates on eBay, go down your wreckers and get a throttle body and just you can buy the actual adapter harness separately and you could probably do the whole thing under $100. But overall, yeah, super stoked. You guys should definitely do it if you've got a V35, G35, Infinity. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.